Hey, Bruce. Getting kind of cold, huh? Yeah. Nip in the air at night. I like fall when it gets cold. Me too. Real pretty out as well. I used to cry at fall trees when I was a kid. Why? Because they were so pretty. Hmm. I did that when my daughter was born. You have a daughter? Yup. Yeah. Where is she? Sorry. It's fine. Hmm. Well, have a nice day, Bruce. How is Bruce affording all those cigarettes too? All these people smoking around town and oh my god. Is that gray? Hey, Jen. Hey, Mayborowski? Yeah. What are you doing back here? Does Greg know you're back? Greg's sister? Nah, just here for a day. Had to pick up some stuff from Greg's mom. Greg's half-sister? Hauling back to school tonight. Ah. Didn't you go to school? What are you doing here? Is it something I'm ashamed of? Eh, nah. May have said it to so many people already. Whatever. Dropped out, kinda. Oh. Sorry to hear that. Eh, whatever. What are you going for? I want to do fashion design. Is that a job you can get? Theoretically. You still go crossbow hunting? Greg used to have a crossbow too, I think? Yeah, I still hunt rabbits and stuff. Nothing big. Don't get much chance at school. I was shooting at that tree over there. Then I noticed there was a dude sleeping behind it. So I stopped. Oh yeah, that's uh, Bruce. He's nice. Well, I'm just glad I didn't accidentally put a bolt in his face. Oh yeah, that'd be bad. Well, it was nice seeing you. You still see Greg sometimes? Oh yeah, all the time. Well, tell that cousin of mine he needs to come see me out in Bright Harbor. Oh, uh, yeah, will do. Oh... He's not leaving here. Oh, I don't know. I think he should. Guy's gotta spread his wings. Maybe his wings are just fine here. Nah. Greg's too much for this town. Haha, <laughs> no argument there. See ya. Take it easy. Hmm, Greg's cousin. Greg's cousin, okay. <laughs> well, from Bright Harbor. Maybe that's why he wants to move there too, because he'll have family around. Family who don't even want to come get him, even if they're coming back for a day. Hmm. Wait. Does that say case down there? To my bottom left? 69? C-A-S? As in Casey? Oh. Nah, I think that's probably something else. Oh, I was wondering why the music was different here. <laughs> hey, hello, I'm May. Hello, May, I'm Salim. Are you a busker? Are you busking? On a roof? What's busking? I don't know. I think it's when you play outside and people give you money. Are you gonna give me money? No. Then I'm not busking. Cool. <laughs> well, that's uh, that's not a bad attitude to have. If you're gonna pay me, I'm gonna accept it. Hey, Lori. Oh no, Lori. No. <laughs> okay, we'll visit the the rats first. Anything going on here though? They seem to just be wandering around now. What the heck? There we go. 
Yeah, there's just a ton of rats around now. Whoa! Oh! It's open! Who lives here? It's like, just a room. One fridge. One dresser. One lamp. One bed. One window. One door. I guess that makes two ways out. This would be creepy if it wasn't so spooky. Oh. This looks pretty well furnished. Whoever lives here is certainly a churchgoer. Five saints. Grandmama used to have a setup like this. Last time I saw her. Icons are good for keeping the good in and the bad out. This is the super important info I retained from years of Sunday school. In the end, Grandmama died while the saints watched. It was time. And they weren't saints anyway. They were pictures. Pour one out for Grandmama. Oh? I could hide in here until whoever lives here gets back. And possibly give them a heart attack. Or get shot in the face with a gun. What am I doing here? What am I doing with my life? I'm sitting in a stranger's closet. In a nearly vacant building. I could just stay in here. Just forever be here forever. Where does this person pee? On Mallard? It's stark in here. Hmm. It's so well furnished though. I don't feel like it's some random homeless person. Huh. Well, that's weird. Yeah, the rats are. They're free now. They just wander all around. I might have... Oh, but that means that I might have made a really bad situation for whoever's living here. Well, nothing I can do about that. Hey, Lori. Drawing something? Yeah, drawing a bad guy for a movie. Have you, like, filmed anything ever? I made a little movie with my phone. And I pirated some movie programs. It's real bad. Path to becoming an internet dweller. <laughs> What's it about? Um... Lady finds a window in her wall. That wasn't there before. And it's like looking at her backyard. But it's always sunset. And there's a guy standing there she can't quite see. What's with all of you people and people standing outside your windows? That's scary. Jeez, that's actually kind of creepy. Really? I am creeped. Oh, thanks. I thought it sucked. Huh. Where'd the idea come from? I like a lot of horror movies that are really gory. But gory isn't always scary. So I was thinking of what's scary. And I don't know. You're at home, but there's something new. Or maybe you just never noticed it before. And there's someone strange, very nearby. And... I don't know. What? Uh, nothing. Creepy. Alright, I'm off. See ya. Later. Wow. This kid, when she becomes a famous movie director, I want her to hire me. Kitty. Got nothing for me today? Alright. All right. Oh! We're good here. And there's nothing here. It seems like after harvest, some things have changed. So I think I need to be a little bit more diligent in looking around. I can't believe they just left the they just leave the band stuff in there. What if someone steals it? What if the building falls down? I should start taking Greg's base home. Just, you know, in case. <laughs> AB Why did you fire that guy? Hmm. Hey B. Hey May. 
I think I'm gonna burn this place down. Oh, cool. But also, maybe it might have consequences? I don't want to hear that from you, Mei. We could take the insurance money. And like, not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. You're going to burn down this place for me. Oh, cool. But also, maybe I'd go to jail? No, you have no motive. No one would suspect. So, work's not going well? Ah. Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. Okay, fine. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Not yet. Nah, not today. Okay, well, let me know. Seems like a slow work day though, huh? Dang. At least when the other guy was here, B could talk to him. But now she's alone in that shop 24-7 by herself. Thinking about burning the building down for insurance money. Yeah, these two guys. No signs of applying to Ham Panther. I think they just like the call center job. They're okay with it. Hey, Fisherman Jones! Methinks I spy a tunnel shark. Scary monster in the dark. Holy crap. I didn't really see it. Please don't listen. This guy, <laughs> he never wants us to listen. But we always listen. I am always here. Miss Rosa's not here today. Whoa, what's going on here? Whoa, hi down there. Ahoy there, May! Haha, <laughs> is that Mr. Salvi? What are you doing in a boat? In the tunnel. In the late afternoon. What are you doing home from school? You answer first! It's my side hustle! Salvi Salvage. What's that? I'm a junkman, May. Are you not mowing lawns anymore? Oh no, I'm still doing the landscaping. But I'm also a purveyor of fine goods. For the discerning antique enthusiast. Okay, side hustle, yeah. You wanna come along? Boat ride back into the tunnel? Gonna be a short trip today. But, might be fun? That sounds awesome, let's do it. Uh, sure. Uh, this probably isn't smart. It's pretty safe. I just need a second pair of hands. Usually, I take one of the kids over there. Hey, teens! I'm going on this boat now. Just saying, like if anyone should ask. I got on this boat with Mr. Salvi here. Smart, May. Actually, pretty smart. Okay, thanks! What was... Okay, let's go. <laughs> It's somebody we know, but we don't know him very well. And lots of folks from somewhere else drive past. Between Fort Lucene and Willow Grove. And they like going to antique shops out here. I think they think it's exclusive or something. And that's a side hustle. Wow. Do they know it's garbage? It's not garbage. Sorry. Here. We're coming up on one now. You'll see. Oh? This is garbage. It's an island of garbage. Your garbage is my priceless antique. Once it's cleaned up a bit. Look around! Find something! Is this thing safe to walk on? Oh yeah, years of sediment and rocks and junk. Ha, you call it junk too. Hmm. Find anything good? Nah. You know, aside from Life is Strange, which I think has quite a few similarities with Night in the Woods, another thing that I think Night in the Woods takes a lot from is Kentucky Route Zero. 
Surprisingly, hmm. Oh, wow, it's a thing. A sled? Really bad boat? Maybe you like sleep in it? Tiny garbage hammock? Should I take this garbage bed? Uh, look at the other one first. Eh. Huh. Big axe. Do I want a big garbage axe? Axe. Uh, yes. Let's have the axe. It's so big and axy. Oh, can I have both? Oh, garbage bed or garbage axe. I'll have the axe. Eh. Find anything good? Killer garbage axe. Oh, nice. Looks like an old fire axe from somewhere. Axe murderer garbage axe. Yes, you could conceivably murder someone with this. Have to sharpen it first. Oh, I'll sharpen it. Planning on murdering someone? I keep my options open. Oh dear. Do I get to keep that? Or am I giving it to you later? And somehow, he'd run over his own foot. No. With a mower. Ah! Yeah, he's got a limp now. But he still comes to work. Jeez. Gotta work. Ugh. Okay, so remember how I said I needed a second pair of hands? Oh yeah, what was that about? So there's a little panel back where you are. Gonna need you to use it and move this light up here. Are we... wait, why? We got bats down here. So? I don't like bats. But bats like bugs. And bugs like light. So you're gonna shine that light all around them to get them to scatter. Looking for bugs. They mostly go away for a while when they scatter. Oh, okay. Now get ready. We're coming up on a place they like to cluster together. Okay, I got it. Here we go, up above me. Oh, wow, okay. Ah! Ah! Oh my god. Wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. Sure were a lot of them. Ah, oh, I hate them. But bats are cute. They are not. Can I take a bat home? Ain't no bat getting on my boat. Sooner swim back than have a goddamn bat on my boat. Okay, 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 no bats. No bats. All right, we're coming up on another island. Garbage ho! Oh. <gasps> Whenever they do that, I keep thinking someone's coming up behind us. Oh my god. You gonna look around? No, I'm gonna hang out in the boat. Of course I'm gonna look around! <laughs> You're sarcastic like your dad. Do you still talk to my dad? Oh yeah, I get my meats from him once a week. Last fall, us and some of the boys from the factory days went up to Studer's old hunting camp. You get anything? Ed Gress got a six-point buck. Oh, nice. Alright, let's go. We got a schedule to keep. Oh, so it's one of my dad's old co-workers. Oh my god. It's a coconut monkey! Like the one granddad brought back from Hawaii. Do I want this coconut friend? For the time being, yes. Welcome to the family, Mr. Monkey! I love you so much, and we've just met! Aww. Holy shit! Dracula teeth! These are so rad, I could totally be a Dracula! 
Of all the false teeth in the world, Dracula teeth are the best. Should I take these excellent Dracula teeth? Instead of my dear friend Coconut Monkey? No. No, teeth versus a new family member? We'll keep the family. Eh, I can get new ones for like a buck. Over at the Ham Panther. I don't know if vintage Dracula teeth are that much of a find. Vintage. And also, I'm a little bit worried that Mei will put it in her mouth, so... <laughs> putting anything we find here in our mouth, anywhere on our body, is probably not a good idea. Find anything good? Coconut monkey! Oh, wow! Is it still... good? He's a little soft, and he smells like trash water. But when he's all dried out... Wait, is a coconut monkey an actual coconut? That's really gross. He's gonna be a regular member of the family. Huh, alright. You're not gonna steal him for your shop or anything, right? Uh, no. Not even tempted? I think I can let this one go, May. And that's how I saved Longest Night. Ha, huh, wow. Did you ever tell your kids? What? No, it has spoiled the magic. Did they ever notice your neck scar? If they did, they never said nothing. Did the cops ever catch the guy? Oh, there's cops involved. Oh no, he's still out there. But he ain't coming back anytime soon. Maybe they had a burglar? Wow, great story. Hmm. All right, we're coming up on another bat nest. Do bats have nests? Whatever, get the light ready, shine it up there and get rid of them. Aye aye, sir. Here they come! What happens if I don't? Ah! Wow! Did most of them leave? I think so. I got them good. Oh, thanks, kid. I'm 20. Haha. <laughs> well, I'm my age. That's plenty kid enough. Rude. Coming up on another island. How many of these are down here? Oh, I ain't counted. Seem to find new ones all the time. And lose old ones. Spooky. We're pretty far back now. It's always a bit spooky. Wow, it's so eerie right now. Just like Kentucky Route Zero. Yeah, whenever it does that, I keep thinking someone's following us. Whoa, old trolley car over there. Yeah, we're getting close to where the flood really hit hardest. I can't imagine this place still up and running. It was quite something. Had a sense of going somewhere. Yeah. Way back when they got these new trolley cars. They were designed by some company overseas. Big and fancy, like France or something. They are pretty. Yeah, they still got their charms. You're gonna look around? Sure. More garbage for me? Oh, huh. Wonder how old this is. It's pretty soggy. What sport even is this? It's a sports mystery. The worst kind of mystery. It's pretty though. Do I want this thing? I don't even know what it is. Could hang it on the wall. That'd be pretty neat. And then look up what it's even for. Cool, cool, cool. I don't think your parents would appreciate you bringing back garbage into the house. Oh, nice. Football, our official religion around here. I could totally wear this. It's functional. I could totally wear this in the winter, in case I slip on the ice. I could wear this if I was in a fight. It's a helmet. Could probably stop a bullet even, I don't know. It smells inside though. Do I want this thing? 
More than that ancient flag thing? No, no, no. Don't put anything on your body, okay? Put it on the wall, not your body. It's functional, but the flaggy thing is mysterious. Gotta go with the mystery. All right. I wonder if we'll actually see it back at home later on. Find anything good? Check this out. Oh, wow, that's an old hockey pennant. How old? Like, really old? Uh, 1970s? 80s? Oh, that's like... medium old. We had a hockey team back then? Sure did. Ice Arena used to be out by where Ham Panther is now. Jeez, so much stuff used to be here. Lots still here. But yeah, lots gone. Any more bats to get rid of? Nah, they don't come back this far to sleep. They fly around a good bit back here though. Unless you clear them off before you get here. Where even are we? Almost to the far platform. Oh wow, is that where we're going? Well... You got rid of most of the bats back there. So maybe we can make one last stop. At the big one. The big one? I thank God when I wasn't down here when the flood hit. The river jumped, right? Yeah, flood was bad enough. River just up and moved. Had something to do with the reservoir too, I forget. I guess it was a while ago. Weird to think that rivers can move. Oh, they're always moving, kid. 20 year old. They're just usually moving in one direction. No one's really prepared for when it stops doing what it's always been doing. Hmm. All right, here we are. The big one. God, this is so spooky down here. Wow. This looks like something I dream. Or something. It's familiar some ways. Back then, they thought the trolleys would stay on the track. Come a big flood. But nah, they went right along with the water. Bobbing up and down. Crashing into big piles like this. Jeez. Can't fix something like this. What are you gonna do? Dam up the river? Dig this whole thing out? Nobody got that money. Nobody got that time. This is like... Visiting some place beyond the grave. Like where you go when you die. Some folks did die down here. Oh yeah. You gonna look around? Have to say, not much back this far usually. Most stuff washes in from side channels. Gets caught up back where we came from. Yeah, I think I'll still look around. Maybe one thing back here? Wow. Look at how much damage the flood did to the whole place. Oh, wonder what this used to lock up. Really old lock. Pretty neat key. Somebody bought this to keep something safe. Or secret. Do I want to take this? Sure. This thing has like, someone's intentions in it. Or something. It feels heavy. Someone should have it. Someone other than you? You want to give it to someone else? Wow. Wonder if it still works. Don't put your mouth to it. Should probably clean all the mud out of it first, though. Do I want to take this? Even more than the lock? Hmm. Your description of the lock sounded more enticing. I got nowhere to put it. And I can't play it. Also, feel like some horn-playing ghost is gonna haunt me if I take it from here. Okay, we can leave it alone then. Oh my god. 
even though not much is supposed to be here, there is a whole ton of stuff. Find anything good? Got a lock and a key. Oh, what are you gonna do with that? I don't know. I just figured someone should have it. Hmm. That's thoughtful, May. I feel like we're a thousand miles away from Possum Springs. Yeah, we're not so far though. Let's get going. Uh. <laughs> Here we are. Wow. Oh, okay. Oh. Huh, I thought something was behind us for real that time. Well, thanks for the ride, Mr. Salvi. So that's it. That's the other mural. It's so... Yeah. Yeah. Basically, the only thing back here that survived the flood. I just think it's nice that it's not gone. Yeah, I guess. Forgotten, maybe, but not gone. Well, not forgotten yet. I wonder if in like 500 years, some archaeologists will find it. And wonder what it meant. Sometimes I think in 50 years, no one will know what it meant. Places can't control how they're remembered. They just hang out, and then fall apart. You okay, May? Yeah. I'll be fine. I'm just gonna look for a minute. Take your time. Wow. Oh, wow. Is that supposed to connect with this mural? Hmm, originally, it must have been a pretty long tunnel. Oh, wow, okay, that's completely a reference to Kentucky Route Zero. I mentioned earlier that I was reminded of it because there was also a scene where people were in a raft, a canoe thing, a boat, and they were in a tunnel. And in that scene, they had bats flying all over the place too. And one of the characters' names in Kentucky Route Zero is Junebug. Mm -hmm. So I am pretty sure that is a reference here. Cool. Cool. Oh. Thanks for joining me. That was great. Thanks for not kidnapping me. <laughs> I could totally do this as a job. Oh no, a competitor. I'm gonna get me a boat and go find some trash and sell it to rich dorts. That's the spirit. Take care. You too. Good luck. Aww. That was a nice thing. I didn't expect to find some random guy. I didn't think we would actually get on a boat here. That's nice. Sweet. Okay. Wow, that was, uh... Oh! That's, uh, Greg and Angus's apartment. I guess we can't go into their house. But we can take the stairs to the roof. Aha! Now we're here. There's gotta be something we can do here. There we go. Oh, okay. There you go. There was one hidden one up here. Edgy. <laughs> There's a lot of graffiti here, surprisingly. What's over on this side? Wow, we are so high up. Whoa! Hella birds. Oh! Oh! 
Wow. Holy shit! That's a lot of birds! Are they here for the music? Or food? Um, hello? Hello? I'm May. Sadie. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? Exploring? Same way I found it. Did you know? This is the only stage in town. Are you on stage a lot? Nope. Not for a long, long time at least. Looks like no one's played here in a long time. Yeah, been a few decades. Are you gonna, like, put on something here? Oh, I don't think anyone's gonna be putting anything on here. At least not anytime soon. No electricity, probably structurally unsound, infested with rats and pigeons. Other than the electricity, that's like most of the town. Haha. <laughs> That it is. That it is. Funny. What? I just met this guy over by the church steps. He was also hanging by himself. And playing music. Small world. Heh <laughs> well. Small town at least. Definitely. See ya. Oh, don't scare the birds. Ah, I scared everybody. Huh. Pentagram. That's... That's something devilish, isn't it? Surprisingly, a ton of new areas have opened up now, so I really, really gotta look around. Have fun, pigeons!